another beautiful sunny day in ghana and today we are going to the ghana national museum it's been open after seven years of renovation so i just can't wait to go inside and see what they have in there and also to learn more about ghana although i'm from ghana it's a little history that i don't know so come with me as we go and check this out i can't wait to share this with you so we are going to start the tour from the outside what you're looking at is a limousine which was used by the former president of ghana the longest serving president in the history of ghana jerry john rollins and this car that you used to see on the screen was a car used by the first president of ghana dr Juan Nkrumah. you might see some bullet holes in it that's um when there was an attempt to assassinate him so you see all these bullet holes this has been kept in good condition and i'm glad I'm, I'm getting the chance to show this to you so i think the first thing you should do when you go to ghana is try and go see this place because it tells you about the history of ghana and then you can enter into the city and see what is out there to so add the ghana national museum to your itinerary now let's go inside and see what is there thank you am i gonna enjoy the, the museum or what is there a lot to see what's your name priscilla is there a lot to see you over here sure okay if you say if you say so it's worth my money right okay thank you Museums in Accra, Ghana. So if you make it to Accra, just come check this out. So this mosque is still in um uh, in the northern region. Oh, okay. Uh, so you just put the note, yeah, yeah okay. Okay. Oh, what was the name again? Okay, you said it had four entrances. One, one for. Okay. One for women, one for men. Oh, okay, because that's in Arabic, yeah. So. This one is actually okay. It's quite different. Oh, okay, so there are four entrances one for the female, one for male. One for the king and one for the imam. Okay. Now, Bangladesh. Must... Yeah, yeah. Realize that yes, that has those things. Yeah. And this is the oldest mosque, right? The yeah, Bangladesh is the oldest mosque. Okay. Now this is the oldest mosque. This is the oldest mosque in Ghana. And this, this is where. Upper East. Upper East. Upper East. Upper East. What is a curry? What is it? It's a shell curry. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, it's um, it's like shell. Yes, yeah, the shell, seashell, something. Like okay. That. And what are curries used for? Um, they were used as money in the past. Oh, so this is oh, so this yes. is look, so yeah, this is money. Oh, yes. okay. So it's like the one they used to do the butter trade, this yes. kind of thing. Okay, so this is the currency. Okay. Yes. So in Ghana, we call it city, and our currency name is called. 
that's what we're gonna see you for. Okay. And and which one is this one? What is this? Oh, it's an ovian. I thought it was young. I was like, so they decided to do the the iron ore. That's the Yeah. All right. So this is the crane, the sounding crane. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the Ashanti, they make their hands. Okay, the crane is not the wife of the king. She is the sister, the mother of the man. Because they practice matrimonial stuff. So over there, the king's wife is called or given this title of Nehra, which means the king's wife. Okay, so we'll give you the respect to everything, but then that has to be So over there, the king's son cannot become king when the king dies. It is his sister's son. His sister's son. You take after him, not his son. Sounds like basically like your nephew. Okay, so this is the kitchen setup. Even currently, when you visit some of our villages, like in the north, mm -hmm. all of that, they still have a setup. Oh. Maybe in their backyard or something. Maybe in the south. Yes. Yeah. Where? Let me go to the village. Oh. So this used to be a kitchen rack. The people used to cook. Oh. So whenever they put this fire on, the heat preserves the meat or prevents it from going bad. Same applies here. They call it also the red cover baskets. Same applies here. Oh, so, so it's always hand over. Over the, um, over the stove, whatever it is, right? You said it, they, they put meat over the stove. Yes, so that's whenever they put this fire on, the heat preserves it. Preserves it, okay. Because in the olden days, they didn't have it. Yeah, it is. Alright. And also, during this ceremony, they give them a toy with raw egg. A toy is much fun with raw egg, chicken egg. And with the egg, you need to swallow it. Because you believe that if you bite it, Oh, how do you swallow an egg? I mean, that's going to choke you. <laughs> you have to be like a python or something, right? <laughs> I see. All right, so we come to death. So after this ceremony, when a man sees you, you want to try to adjust him, and that's the point. Now we come to death. So in Ghana, when someone dies, you don't see the end of that. And you believe that when a person dies, you need to be the person that you need to ask them to be the person that you need to be the now in the olden days, whenever our girls died, they used to be head in their seats in the man's area. Okay? Yep. If they were not there, you still kill them in their head. Because it, it's, it's like the um it's like the um uh the the, the Egyptian civilization is like you know, you know like you no know, you go you go with your master to serve him in uh the after that, yeah. So yeah. That's why I should be a royal, yeah. you know. <laughs> so this is safe. Okay. In the in the kudu. Oh. So this is where you used to store gold dust. This used to be the safe. So what you have on your screen right now is the big six and these are six prominent men in Ghana who helped gain independence from the British. And this is Kwame Nkrumah, Akua J, Ebiru Kufado who is the father of the current president of Ghana and Ado, Joseph Bachidankwa, Manu Obechibilante and William Ofori Acha. They are from the big six. So this is William of Ferriata on your screen. That is JB Dankwa.
This is Aqua AJ. And this is Dr. Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana. This one, I don't know about this bonds and all that stuff. So, specimen, West African currency, our Ghana currency. So, it's an honor to come to the National Museum and see my grandfather's signature on the currency over here. So, all right? That is in Charles Edward say. That time, Ghana used to, and the currency was in pounds. All right, so five pounds here. All right, that's my grandfather's signature. Yes, I have to say that again. My grandfather's signature. Yes, like that. Uh, uh, this one where it is. Oh, this is interesting. West African currency bond. I've never seen that. Oh, okay. I remember this. I thought it was related to running because it looked like, you know, yeah. But I think the woman who's born there not a family from one school. Oh, what's her name? Do you have a name? She's one of the first people. First of all, yes. Oh. That's it. It's called her in Kuma, but then she was poisoned at a party. How were you poisoned? After in Kuma became president or what? Yeah, I'm sure during the celebration. Oh. It's, it's nice to see this morning again. Yeah. This, I, will, I will remember this, you know. Yeah, this morning. I remember this, yeah, because we're here, what's going on? Like, we just changed everything. You know. People had money, like, you know, they just, people lost money. I don't think they were ever going to be Come see and um, I think, what's your name? Dominique. Okay, just a, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you follow me later. So Dominique is from what? Is from Houston, Texas, and she's also touring here as I am. And uh, so they're playing. They're playing. Uh, this is called Owari. I think it's a, it's a, it's a name for it in, in, the, in, the, in the U.S. It's a name for this. Okay, okay, yeah. All right. I mean, I am very good at this. But, you know. <laughs> okay. So there's so many ways of playing this game though. Yeah. There's a, there's a traditional way and there's um how do you call that the other one? Crochet or something like that. That was like <laughs> Oh this one? Wow. Then this, 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 this should be in like a, it should be in a glass or something. And it means unity in diversity. So this talks about all of us being united. Because even in Ghana, we have a lot of tribes and ethnic groups, but then we are all connected. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also, the spider web is an aging class symbol, which means creativity. That's how come they look that the way the spider weaves the web and they use that creativity to start making the beauty. And you cannot also talk about the history of Ghana leaving the spider out of it. That's how come all our photos have been named after the spider. Okay. Yes, because we believe that the spider is the cleverest among all the animals in the jungle. That's how come we have the Anansi story or Anansi story. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also the black star down there represents the black race. Oh, yes. And also stands for Africa. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Yes. yes. I missed that. So we are all 